In simple words, a spring bean is just a normal Java object. The only difference is that the spring framework creates the object, manages it and provides it wherever it is needed in the application. So instead of using the new keyword to create objects manually, we allow Spring to take care of the object creation and dependency management. This process is known as dependency injection. Now let's understand this with a small example. In our project, we have a class called Hello Service. This class contains one method that simply prints a welcome message. But to make this class a Spring Bean, we have added the add component annotation at the top of the class. By using the add component annotation, we are informing Spring that this class should be detected and created as a bean automatically. Spring will scan the package, find this class and create an object of it internally. Now the question is, how does Spring know which package to scan? For this, we have another class called AppConfig. This class is marked with the add configuration annotation, which tells Spring that this class contains configuration instructions. Inside this class, we also have the add component scan annotation. This annotation tells Spring which package to scan for components. In our case, we have asked Spring to scan the package that contains our classes. So Spring will automatically detect hello service and create it as a Spring bean. Now let's see how we actually use this bean in the main application. In the main class, instead of creating the object manually using the new keyword, we create the application context. The application context is the Spring container. It is responsible for managing all the beans in our application. Once the container is created, we simply ask it, Hey Spring, please give me the bean of type hello service. And Spring returns the already created object from its container. We store that object in a variable. And then we call the method that prints the welcome message. So when we run the main class, Spring starts it scans the package, it finds the hello service class, it creates the bean and stores it inside its container. Then we request that bean and call the method. The message gets printed successfully. This demonstrates the core idea of Spring Beans. Spring manages the object lifecycle. We only focus on writing clean reusable code. So to summarize, a Spring Bean is a Java object created and managed by the Spring container. We mark a class with add component. We enable scanning using add component scan. And we retrieve the bean using the application context. Great, I will see you in the next lecture.